Well, it's a big week at Murray State. It is homecoming as the racers are at home Saturday here at Roy Stewart Stadium at 3 o'clock against Eastern Illinois. Hey, and the racers played great Saturday down at uh, Georgia State in the Georgia Dome. And this is the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. The show starts right now. Hi everybody and welcome to the Racer Report here at Stewart Stadium with head coach Chris Hatcher. This Saturday the racers are coming home to take on Eastern Illinois in the homecoming game at 3 o'clock. But they're coming off a big 48-24 victory on the road at the Georgia Dome Saturday against Georgia State. And it was a point late in the game where Georgia State was really making a run at the racers. And then Dwayne Brady took off on an 80-yard touchdown run. It was called back because of a penalty but the, it did uh, give the racers the ball pat, well past midfield and then they scored to get control of the game and the racers won it 48 to 24. Tyler Levea got his first start at running back and he talks about the big win. Well we weren't really scared we always knew the game was in our hands um, but on the sideline we're always excited no matter what we could be losing winning we're always going to be excited and so when they were coming when they started coming back I think our sideline got even more excited and we got even more pumped up and we were able to pull it off. And that'll take us into this week's game, and it's a big one as Murray State comes home for homecoming at 3 o'clock against Eastern Illinois. Come on out, enjoy Tent City, and we'll get ready for a big game Saturday here at Roy Stewart Stadium. And that's where we are here this morning on the north corner of the end zone as the racers will be back here uh, Saturday against Eastern Illinois. Head coach Chris Hatcher joins us now, and uh, coach, Georgia Dome racer win. It was a great Saturday for the team. It was a great, great weekend for us. You know, I got to get close to home, got to see a lot of my family, a lot of our players. That's as close as they'll play at home to their hometown all season long. Um, we went and played well. We won the ball game, got to play in a great venue, the Georgia Dome, dress in the Atlanta Falcons right. locker room. Our guys are very excited and it's good to, to snap that old skid we mm -hmm. were going through there. Um, and get back, get back to our winning ways. Well, the racers uh, played a great ball game at the Georgia Dome. We're going to go ahead and roll the highlights here and take a look at it as the racers played Georgia State. And uh, coach, uh, when you uh, you take a look at Georgia State, they're a second year program, but my goodness, they've got some talent on this team. And uh, you, you guys had to play a good ball game to get out of here. Dave, they've done a great job, um, especially being a second year program. Um, Bill Curry, the former Georgia Tech, Kentucky, Alabama coach, um, has done a good job assembling some talent. Um, but we come out, we kick off. I tell you, Keenan Cullen did a fantastic job on the evening kicking the football. Real proud of him. Um, here our defense comes up. Quay Huzzy, who grew up down the road from the Georgia Dome over in LaGrange, Georgia. Um, and Dexter Barnett on the first play. They get big stops and um, they're forced to punt. And then another Georgia native from Moultrie, Georgia, Dontrell <laughs> Johnson makes a great return. Gets unbelievable blocking. That was a big operation for us all night. Yeah, special teams. We mentioned how important it was. Racers did a great job there and a great return by Dontrell Johnson. Now, the racers are, are, are pressing in. You got a short field. And then what happened on this play here? This turned out to be an interception. What exactly was the miscommunication? Well, there really wasn't any miscommunication. That's a little mesh route that we throw, and we throw it to the backside guy versus man. And um, we, we just didn't execute the route good enough. Um, a guy that was covering Dwayne Brady out on the flank actually was the one that came out and picked the ball uh -huh. off. Um, so unfortunate for us, but our defense comes out and, and we get a we get another stop. Here's Jamal Crook um, on the tackle and he played um, a whale of a game. Yeah, he played good and, and you know that's one thing we got to do. We got to get better production out of our our defensive line and uh, I, at times they did a nice job. Um, here Tyler Lavea got his first start of the season in place of Mike Harris, and we, we went with Tyler over Mike this week. And um, right here is about the only bad play Tyler had. It looks like a great run. He just missed the hole. If not, he scores a touchdown right. on that play, Dave. Uh, but he played a, a really good game. That was a, a fourth down conversion. And then we get third and one, and here's Casey Brockman to the sophomore. Walter Powell 
out of one of your favorite places, St. Louis, Missouri, on the first touchdown of the game. That's right. I love our St. Louis kids, that's for sure. 7-0 Murray State. Uh, that was a nice drive for the racers. Then we go back the other way, and this is about the time the momentum changed a little bit and they had you on your heels a little bit. Yeah, you know, defensively we played well. Here we give up a big play, and we got to do a better job of, uh, of covering. Um, there and, and, and they end up getting the touchdown. We actually make good contact and they, their running back drove us into the end zone to tie the game up at seven. Yeah, this was with 424 to go in the uh, first quarter. And then Dontrell Johnson really, you could just tell he's, he's well now. He, there for a while he wasn't well. No, no, I think he's as close to 100% as he has been since the beginning of the year. And um, here we go, We, you know, the momentum has shifted a good bit. You know, playing on the road is awful difficult. And we come out and we, we just um, squander some opportunities. Here we, we underthrow a pass, even though it is a broken play, get called for holding, forced to punt again, but golly, our punting situation was, they did a great job. Well, and then right down the seam here to the, to the big tight end, a 35-yard play, and then Benevito, at least you held him to a field goal here. It was a 45-yarder, but that uh, put the Panthers up uh, 10 to 7, 15 seconds to go in the first. Well, that was big for our defense. Um, get a lot of confidence. Offensively, we come right back. Here's a big third down conversion to Ricky Mitchell, junior out of North Carolina, who had a lot of family members at the ball game as well. We come out, we're, we're throwing the ball well. and That's big, a good, good throw. Yeah, good throw, good catch by Arthur Brackett. They threw a flag on that. Yeah, they called him targeting um, the helmet, which is a new point of emphasis, and Casey runs it in. And, you know, you're talking about the targeting. Um, I'm glad they called it on them, but if they had called it on us, I'd have been very upset about the um, – I thought they were pretty good hits. Well, there's another one coming up in a minute. So the racers score there to go up 14-10, to 10, and then you get the ball back, and – you know, when you get your receivers in space over there, boy, they're hard to tackle, aren't they? Well, that's a little, <laughs> little inside screen we threw to Arthur Brackett, a little new wrinkle to the offense we hadn't done this season. And Dwayne Brady comes in. Um, I tell you what, he's a winner. He plays every position, does what we ask him to do on all the special teams. Um, very proud that he was able to get him a rushing touchdown. Yeah, eight-yard uh, touchdown, 3.33 to go before the half. It's 21-10 to 10 now, and here comes your defensive line. You talked about the, the pressure they got on Little all day. Yeah, that actually Blake Salter, one of our linebackers, was in there and got that pressure, and then um, um, Crook came in, and Jamal Crook came in and, and cleaned it up. But we got a chance to get us another score, and um, here's a big catch by Javante Trotter, and they call this target in as well. Uh, we looked at this one a couple of times. I thought the first one maybe was more like that than this was. I thought that was a, a pretty good hit, but the racers got the, the 15 tacked on, and then Casey was trying to improvise a little bit, second pick of the day. Yeah, that was a disappointing play. you got to be more careful with the football, but our defense holds. We use our timeouts, get them to punt to us. Look at Dwayne Brady. Throw My a little goodness. throwback screen to Dwayne. <laughs> Um, the good thing about this, he's probably the only guy on our team that could make that run, that has the speed to make that run. So, um, right place, right time. Big touchdown before the end of the half to put us up 18 points as we head in to the locker room. Well, uh, the racers scored uh, 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 21 to nothing there in the second quarter and uh, went in with a big lead at halftime. We're going to take a break here from Stewart Stadium with head coach Chris Hatcher, and we'll come back and show you the second half in just a moment. Basically, it's about symmetry. I'm good. Be honest here, I mean. Ah, fuck it. I'm good. My bad. I'm good. I'm the man! I'm good. Ready? No! Men can take anything. I'm good. Except the taste of Diet Cola. Until now, Pepsi Max, the first Diet Cola for men. This is good. New Wave Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave Advantage. Call today. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, 
The best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers. Service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers. Two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers. Proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. For more than 30 years, the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision has helped athletes achieve their dreams. The dream of playing football and hearing the home crowd cheer time after time. The dream of competing for a national championship. The dream of an excellent education. The dream of becoming a leader. And the dream of playing the right way with sportsmanship. NCAA Division I Football. It's not a dream. Come see for yourself. Saturday, the racers are, of course, uh, playing the homecoming game here at 3 o'clock, and we want to make sure that you're making your plans to be here with us. It's going to be a big, big day. And, Coach, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that happened in the second half. You know, taking the ball in the third quarter, starting out and going down and scoring, that kind of you know, kept your momentum going. But you knew probably that they were going to make a run at you sometime in the second half. I figured they would, and I was looking forward to seeing if we could play 60 complete minutes of ball. And, and we had a lapse in the third quarter. You know, they come out, they kick the ball in the end zone. Um, Sure-handed Dontrell Johnson can't decide whether to bring it out. We get tackled inside the five. Um, but the first drive of the third quarter is always the most important on both sides because it sets the tempo for the remaining part of the game. And we take it um, roughly 96-yard drive to start the half, um, take off almost six minutes of the clock. When you have an 18-point lead and you do that to start the third quarter, um, you couldn't script it any better. Well, and that put the racers up 35-10, to 10. Uh, 9.49 to go into third, but you know, I w we were doing the game on Racer TV and I was thinking, you know what, there's a lot of time here, and it just seemed like a after that, something turned in the momentum, and Georgia State got a run, they scored a touchdown to make it 35-17, to 17, and they just kept chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, but I thought the, the biggest thing was, there in the fourth quarter, they were, they were driving, uh, and you held them to a field goal, and then they missed it, yeah. and that, that was, I thought that, took the wind out of their sails, and I figured at that point you probably had the game. Well, I, I think so. I believe there was around eight, nine minutes left in the ball game, and they had they had been whittling it down a little bit, and they got the, the we had the lead at 11. Mm -hmm. They had a good drive going. Um, when they missed the field goal, um, there's still, it's a two possession game, and then our offense came out and, and, and took control and had a, had a really, really quick st scoring um, opportunity there. Actually, Dwayne Brady made one of the best runs I've seen a racer make in a long time, and it gets called back, which, by the way, um, should not have been called back. And then <laughs> I a was going to ask you about that. Well, it was um, <laughs> it was an 80-yard touchdown run. It got brought back to near midfield, just past midfield. Yeah, they there called was, a block in the back. Yeah, I don't believe there ever was a block in the back, day, but that's the way it goes. But a couple plays later, we hit Walter Powell for his second touchdown of the night on a little sucker play down the sideline where you can see he's streaking, he's wide open, and that pretty much sealed the deal. Yeah, that came with uh, 7.26 uh, to go, and uh, the racers had a couple of interceptions there. One was the like the last play of the game, but then Whitehead had a nice nice pick in there when they were trying to stay in the game. It was really good to see Julian um, get, get an interception. He's got to do a better job, though, of, um, of securing the ball. He fumbled the ball after the interception. Man, hey, at that point, just catch it, fall down. And then Jarius Williams gets one, I believe, later on in the game. And he had a wonderful week of practice. And it goes to show, Dave, as ye practice, ye shall play. And that's something that um, we did a lot better of during the course of the week. We practiced well and we played well. And then we finished up the scoring late in the game with an, a great drive. I think we got the ball back with about six and a half minutes to go. Um, we, we ate up almost the entire clock and, 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 and hit Hannibal Buford on the touchdown um, with his first touchdown of the season. And then Brandon Potts, the freshman, he came on and handled the extra point duties and made every one that he was able to kick, which is a, a first for our football team. 48-24, yeah, the final scores, the racers win it. And sp speaking of that, Coach, you, you had Cullen punting and kicking off and, and field goals. But Potts with the point after, is that because he gets the ball up a little quicker? Is that why you, why you did that? Potts, is, he's a little quicker on his approach. I wouldn't say he gets it up that much higher, but he gets it off a lot quicker. And, you know, I thought that Keenan, 
um, as, as hard a time as we've been giving him. Uh, you know, golly, boy, he, his kickoffs were the best he's had yes. all season. Yeah. His punting, I mean, he had a 49-yard um, a net average with no return and a 65-yard kick. I mean, what a great night. So I, I'm thinking by dividing the duties up, it's taking a little bit of pressure off him because in some of those big games we'd score a lot of points, mm -hmm. he'd have to do a lot of kicking. And so maybe by splitting the duties up, we're going to get a little bit crisper operation. Well, a good call, Coach. It worked out great for the racers as they win at 48-24 to at Georgia State. Big weekend as the racers got back on the winning track. They're now 3-3 three and three on the season and still looking towards running it out with wins the rest of the way. We're going to take a break here from Stewart Stadium with Coach Hatcher and come back with more and speak to Tyler Lavea, who got a start at running back. We'll do that next. There is a new unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Murray State University's award-winning student-produced newspaper is online. TheNews.org is your hotspot for national news, coverage of events in the Western Kentucky region, and all things Murray State. Winner of the Kentucky Press Association First Place Best News Story and Second Place Best Special Section, TheNews.org features something for everyone, including breaking news updates, daily videos, live racer basketball updates during the games, entertainment news, and blogs. The Murray State News arrives every Friday, and on thenews.org, you can stay up to date 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thenews.org, the official website of the Murray State News. It's the in-your-face defense. Oh, no, it's a high-powered offense. It's the defense, Dad. It's the offense, Mel. And I thought it was the tailgating. Whatever your reason for coming to Stewart Stadium this fall, the defense, <laughs> the offense, or the tailgating, be certain to join the racers for their next home game. I'm Chris Hatcher, and I want to see you here at Stewart Stadium this Saturday against Eastern Illinois. Hey, Racer fans, don't forget to check out GoRacers.com. It's the official home of Murray State Athletics on the web, and we've got photo galleries and new videos going up uh, every, every day pretty much during the football, the volleyball, soccer seasons. And we have our own YouTube channel as well that you can get to uh, from GoRacers.com. So check it out this week as the racers get ready to play Eastern Illinois on Saturday. Back here at Roy Stewart Stadium as the racers won 48-24 at Georgia State on Saturday. And we mentioned number 33, Tyler LaVey, a kid from Oceanside, California. Got his first start at tailback, played very, very well. And we talked to him after the big win. Well, we weren't really scared. We always knew the game was in our hands. Um, but on the sideline, we're always excited, no matter what. We could be losing, winning, we're always going to be excited. And so when they, were coming, when they started coming back, I think our sideline got even more excited and we got even more pumped up and we were able to pull it off. You guys have fun playing. Tell me about how the coaching staff just preaches that to you all the time. Have fun playing the game. Yeah, that is something that the coaches teach us. They say the most, the most excited team will win. And uh, we practice excited. We have meetings. We're always excited at our, at our meetings. When we work out, we're excited. So come game time, it's not something that we're trying to be. It's just something who we are. And so we're just an exciting team. Well, what was it like? You had a chance to play today in the Georgia Dome. Yeah. You know, tomorrow night, uh, the Falcons and Packers are going to be in here. I mean, what, what's that like for you today? Um, it, it was pretty surreal. I mean, not, not every football player gets this opportunity to play in an NFL football stadium. Um, to come driving up where, you know, NFL teams are and then to be in their locker room to experience that. I think, oh, you got to you got to be in the Falcons locker room today. Yeah, right? we, we sure did, and, and to play on the same field that uh, these big name players play on. Um, it was exciting, and it was a, a good opportunity for us. Okay, well, uh, take me uh, into next week. Now you've got Eastern Illinois coming up. It's homecoming. It's always a special time. Um, we're just gonna probably watch this film tomorrow, and then next week, probably Sunday, just get ready for this game uh, for next week, and we'll be ready. I mean, we're always gonna be ready. The coaches do a great job at preparing us, so whatever they do, we'll do and um, we'll win the game. 
Last couple of weeks, you've gotten a good chance to show what you could do. Yeah. Tell me how good you feel about uh, the performance you've been able to give. Well, um, I did okay, but uh, you know the linemen they make it easy. The receivers make it easy on me. Um, I just go out there and just run run the ball, I guess. But uh, thanks to the offense, they they make it easy on me. So I'm not amazing or anything. Well, I might beg to differ a little bit with Tyler there. I think he is a special kid. He got his first start. It, it was a good day for him, and uh, you know. The team voted him as one of the captains. I think that says a lot about how the team feels about Tyler. Tyler's a great young man. He's, a, he's an older gentleman, the oldest guy on the team. But he works hard. He's a good special teams player for us. He ran good. And the big thing with him is he was ready during the game when his number was called. And that's what we preach all the time with our players. I'm very proud of him and very excited for the opportunity he got on Saturday. And he made the most of it. He certainly did. And uh, he runs with a great motor. Of course, Dwayne Brady runs with a great motor too. And uh, the Racers did a great job on Saturday as they, as they got the victory against Georgia State. Coach, about 30 seconds before we go to the break. That running game is so important for you guys. You, you have to have, you got to make the other team respect the run, don't you? There's no question. You know, any, any ball game, you got to be able to run the ball when you want to, and then you got to be able to stop the run. Those are very important aspects of the ball game. And um, with Dwayne back there and Tyler LaVea, um, and then also, um, you know, you look at um, Dexter Durrani, a receiver, got him a rushing That's touchdown. Right. That's right. So, um, in, in place of Mike Harris, who did not play in the ball game, um, who's, who's been one of our better players, we did it by committee, and I was real proud those guys came in and filled the void very nicely. Okay, so this week we're back to OVC play, a big game against Eastern Illinois coming in here for homecoming on Saturday. We'll talk about that, show you the OVC standings here with Coach Hatcher from Roy Stewart Stadium in just a moment on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. There is a new, unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Explore a new world. Many of you have a lot of experience. Come and make it where you can make it. It's a lot of information. The world is a lot of information. Thank you for your time. Good luck. 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 Murray State University. Your world to explore. It's about I'm good. Be honest, Jeremy. Ah, fuck it. I'm good. My bad. I'm good. I'm the man! I'm good. Ready? No! Men can take anything. I'm good. Except the taste of Diet Cola. Until now, Pepsi Max, the first Diet Cola for men. This is good. Hi and welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher here at Roy Stewart Stadium and the Racer is playing the homecoming game Saturday against Eastern Illinois at 3 o'clock and uh, coach as Eastern Illinois comes in let's take a look at the standings it's been a long time since I've seen a Panther team 0-4 in the OVC Bob Spoo is in his last season legendary coach here in the Ohio Valley Conference and he's been at Eastern Illinois uh, for 30 plus years and you know what it's a dangerous team when they haven't won a conference game and they come in here and the racers are getting back home. It's going to be a big ball game Saturday. There's, every game's a big game, and especially um, where we're at in the season. You, we we, we got to play well each and every week. You know, last year, Eastern struggled a little bit as well, and um, we got our first win over them, I believe, in 10 tries in, a, in, a, in a quite some time. So that was a big game for us last season. This year, um, you know, they come in, they got the – their quarterback's been playing well. He's been a bright spot on their team. If you remember, he played against us his first start last year, 
And even though we won the game, he was the freshman of the week. Very talented player. Um, offensively, uh, they can run the ball. They throw the ball. They're not having much trouble offensively. Defensively, they've had a hard time stopping people. Hopefully, we can take advantage of that. Um, but I'm, I'm more worried about us, like each and every week. Are we going to play as good as we can play? Are we going to build off the momentum um, of Georgia State? And we, have a, we still have not played a complete game. Hopefully, Saturday will be the first time we do that. Well, hopefully so. Uh, the racers... Uh Coming back home, Eastern Illinois lost 48-16 at home to Eastern Kentucky uh, last week. You were talking about the, the win for the racers before last season. That was when Tony Romo, uh, on this field, the racers kicked the, the long field goal with Shane Andrus and, and won the game. So it had been a while. Uh, but ho homecoming week, we need a lot of folks out here. And it's going to be a great atmosphere. You, people don't realize how, how big home field advantage is for us. Um, our guys um, thrive on playing at home. We only get five home games a year. So I'm looking forward to hopefully a big crowd will be here. Um, you know, hey, we got we got we're three and three. Man, we're two games better than we were this time last season, and um, still got a lot of our goals left in front of us. So I'm hoping to get a big crowd. I hope our boys will play to that that crowd. And um, we've already started the week off with good practices. So. I tell them the only thing in homecoming week that they have to worry about is winning the ball game. Right. Let everybody else handle all the um, the, the tents the, the and, and the parties yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> you focus on winning the ball game. Well, that, hopefully that's what the racials will do Saturday. We're going to take our final break here at Stewart Stadium with Coach Hatcher. Come back with more and wrap it up on the Racial Report. It's the in-your-face defense. Oh, no, it's a high-powered offense. It's the defense, Dad. It's the offense, Mel. And I thought it was the tailgating. Whatever your reason for coming to Stewart Stadium this fall, the defense, <laughs> the offense, or the tailgating, be certain to join the racers for their next home game. I'm Chris Hatcher, and I want to see you here at Stewart Stadium this Saturday against Eastern Illinois. Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave advantage. Call today. Explore a new world. Many of you have been able to do many things. Come and make your own place. It's a lot of fun. I'm a new world. 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 Murray State University. Your world to explore. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Stewart Stadium here in the Race Report with Chris Hatcher, uh, ready to wrap things up today. Uh, I was going to throw in the quote from Al Davis. He passed away this week, the, the longtime owner of the Raiders. Just win, baby. You know what? I was thinking about this, that this week. You know, that quote means the only thing that really matters at the end of the day is not how many, how many rushing yards you had. It's that scoreboard. It, well, it, it does to a certain extent, and, and we've put a lot of emphasis on having that competitive edge, that winning attitude. Um, winning's a state of mind, and I want our guys to start getting that. If we do that, we'll get over the hump. Um, but with that being said, you know, we want our guys to play the best they can, play with great intensity, play with great enthusiasm and excitement. Um, you know, and those things produce having more points than your opponent right. does on any given afternoon. Well, you, you guys are working hard. We're the, everybody's proud of our football team and appreciate what you do, right, Coach. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate you stopping by. Head Coach Chris Hatcher here on the Racer Report. And don't forget to come out Saturday right here for homecoming against Eastern Illinois at 3 o'clock. This is Dave Winder. We'll see you next time here on the Racer Report.